The July 2019 New Zealand Trucking Magazine main test is the Mercedes-Benz Arox 3246L 8x4 rigid car transporter owned and operated by Car and Haslam Limited of Mount Wellington in Auckland. Mixing experience and passion with a decent whack of humility will likely yield an outstanding result. The latest car carrying creation from Auckland based Car and Haslam Limited are a clear sign that all those attributes are abundant in the company's fabric. If you've ever had the privilege of looking at Chris Carr's photo collection following a trip to the IAA Hanover show, it won't take you long to understand what really spins his wheels. When it comes to IP on anything to do with how many times four wheels go into 20, Chris and his team at Car and Haslam Limited are your go-to people. Chris is the CEO of one of our nation's oldest and most recognisable transport companies. And the best place for a meeting to discuss the art of vehicle freighting is more than likely the company's Mount Richmond Domain Depot in Mount Wellington at about 5.15am. On a frigid autumn morning, with showers whipping across the yard, he's there clad in a coat and beanie with his drivers and yard crew buzzing around a 10-car transporter being stripped of its load following its arrival back from a Turangi spot. It will then be reloaded for immediate departure back to the centre of the island in the hands of the day driver Gary Phipps. Bloody cars, it's a battle because you're never privy to what's being designed. The new model will come out longer, wider, higher, or with less ground clearance or more, so all we can do is constantly chase height, width and length and try to figure out ways to find more space within the constraints of EDAM. I love it, says Chris with a smile. One of two identical units, the base truck comprises of a Mercedes-Benz Arox 3246 8x4 rigid with a 5750mm wheelbase. Connected up to this is the two axle Jackson Enterprises Limited Stinger Simple Trailers. Mechanically they're a reasonably stock product with the twin overhead cam 10.7 litre Bluetech 6 OM470 engine sitting snugly between the rails. It's a supreme example of a modern diesel engine aligned to the modest displacement high output philosophy. Obviously that makes it extremely well suited to life charging around the nation under a car transporter. The 335 kilowatt, 460 horsepower, top power number kicks in a hair under 1500 rpm and it barely falters until 1800 rpm. Torque peaks at 2200 newton meters, 1623 pound foot right on 1100 rpm with little sign of abating until 1450 rpm. Normally small displacement motors struggle to hold onto their performance high points for as long as the big bangers, but the OM470 hangs on like a schnauz at a one of your socks. It's more like a 13 litre story in terms of power torque trace, with the ripest harvest around 1400 to 1600 rpm. Behind the OM470 is the 12 speed power torque 3 G281 transmission. There is no need to reiterate what we think about this AMT, its arrival catapulted Daimler's auto shifter into the Rockstar Club. It's the transmission that really makes this package work. The 0.6 of a second shift times and melted butter-like smoothness are the cornerstone to the overall efficiency of the combination, both in terms of performance and fuel consumption. The cab is a familiar place now and it is a dashboard we enjoy immensely, with its 4 gauge layout and vehicle telematic screen set between them. A wrap containing switch gear, infotainment, climate, brakes and traction controls swings out to the left with everything easily at hand and the RTC BM minor switch gear are placed in the overhead console up above. The cab trim materials are heavy rubber, vinyl and plastics and are very serviceable, an important consideration given to the people involved in the daily operation of these units and the speed of turnaround in which they live. On that note we must say that both trucks were immaculate inside. Access is superb, you could almost jump in with a run up and in terms of ride the day cab is more day spa. The four airbag setup and the long wheelbase combined to make every trip a treat for the occupants. The famous Stinger Steer trailer as it was coined back in the day is now an entrenched part of the Kiwi vehicle transportation scene. Attachment is via an upside down fifth wheel located on a sliding mount on the underside of the trailer with the pin receiver facing forward. The kingpin is mounted on the towing vehicle and the main benefit of this setup is that the pivots are on the trailer not on the truck reducing torsional stress to the chassis of the truck. 
A cool fact regarding the entire project is that the bodies and trailers were built locally by Trevor Jackson and his team at Jackson Enterprises Limited in Pahiatua. We were looking for someone to build our first new units post GFC, said Chris. I approached Trevor and asked if he would be keen and he took it on. Trev's a great bloke and they make a great job. It's become a real big part of their business, said Chris. Car and Haslam's association with the three-pointed star goes back a long way and it's been a fruitful one for both parties. Chris is a strong advocate for anything that comes out of the Mercedes-Benz stable and is a great believer in the latest technology. Himself and the company he heads have always strived to innovate and bring the best from all corners of the globe to the New Zealand market with all its idiosyncrasies. Their latest offerings to the 10-car transporting world honour everything in the previous three sentences and are truly a sight to behold. Once again we are reminded why we enjoy the Mercedes-Benz range so much. They are a truck that delivers on a level that sets a standard. It's little wonder why sales are through the roof for the mark. To get the entire rundown on these purpose-built Mercedes-Benz transporters for Mount Wellington-based Car and Haslam Limited, grab a copy and read the full story in the July 2019 issue of New Zealand Trucking Magazine on sale now. Have a fantastic month out there, stay warm and travel safe.